What is up guys? This is a warm, complete welcome back to the channel. Guys, I know I've been gone for quite a while, but you know what, I'm here. Uh, it's been pretty hectic, especially over the holiday season with work and whatnot. Um, so guys, I'm glad to be back. Today's video is gonna be a review and unboxing of a case for my new Switch OLED that I purchased over the holidays. Guys, I'm loving the Switch. I uh, wish I would have got into it sooner, but I'm glad I did now. Um, I've been looking for a case to actually hold it that has grips on it. Uh, I was looking on Amazon, I found, came up with this one. Uh, it's uh, by, I believe, Subcase. It's the Unicorn Beetle Pro. Guys, um, I heard this is one of the good ones, so I can't wait to open it up and show you guys. Without any more delay, here we go. Alright guys, so again, this is called the Unicorn Beetle Pro. I did pick it up off of Amazon. I will put the link in the description below. Um, so let's get it open, check it out. Alright, so get the instructions right there. Set that aside. Oh, that's pretty cool. Alright, yeah, see there's the uh, slots for your uh, games, to put your games in. Five, I believe it is, uh, five cartridges. It's pretty good, pretty hard plastic. Uh, it doesn't feel like cheap plastic like some of the other ones I've seen. Um, but yeah, it feels pretty good. Set that aside. Now here, man, that, that is pretty awesome. Now you guys can see it. Again, the plastic doesn't feel cheap or anything like that. Uh, the grips so far feel pretty good. But you know what, guys? The real test is, let me get this regular case here. So I'll tell you what, let's get the switch out of here and go ahead and throw on the new case. All right, there's my switch OLED. So, supposed to just basically slide on. There you go, that's pretty simple. Excuse the fingerprints on my screen here, I haven't cleaned it yet. All right. Feels really good. Uh, now, you can tell at the bottom here, has protection right here if you drop it to the bottom and like I said the plastic down here feels pretty good uh, secured it's holding the OLED switch pretty good got access to all your stuff up there uh, buttons here for the pound let me try it uh, yeah perfect all right turn that off here on the back it's uh, see-through I chose to go with the see-through one because I still want to see the switch logo in the back uh, like I said, these, these grips are pretty good. Now, uh, of course, on the top, you're not gonna have very much protection on the top, but that's because you have to have access to the uh, uh, the, the buttons on top here on the controller, on the Joy-Cons. Uh, but other than that, I mean, it feels really good. All right, guys, uh, another thing too about this case is it is dockable. Now, uh, it's a little bit of a tight fit, so I guess I should kind of show you guys here. So you wanna make sure you remove this little cover here. Here's my switch dock here. Again, the new one actually comes with a nice little um, back plate cover here. Move that, and it has access to your uh, adapter, your HDMI out, and your also your new LAN port there. So uh, the new switch dock is really nice. Uh, looks pretty clean with the white on the white. Um, now, <clears throat> like I said, it is pretty much a tight fit, but it does work. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna be continually doing that. I may end up just taking that out of the case and putting it in the dock. Uh, when it is in the dock without the case, it's a little loose, but when you put it in here, again, it kind of, well, you can see here. There you go. So, you wanna see that there. So, it does work, guys. Um, what I'll do is I'll probably end up um, posting a little mini video of it plugged in, but you can see here it is docked. Um, doesn't move as as much as when it's without the dock, but it does, it is dockable, like the case says here. So, all right guys, that's it for the video. Uh, if you wanna purchase this case, or maybe the other one that actually doesn't have this front piece here, or the one that has, uh, it's kind of blacked out, or has their logo right here as well, put a link in the description below for this one here. Uh, check it out. But also guys, I wanna throw in another thing at you guys. I uh, just figured this out here. If you flip this over in the back, there you go. 
now you have the games in the back and then also you can overplay it and then it kind of adds a little bit more to the uh, uh, the handles there so if you guys want to check it out again I'll put a link in the description below for this case uh, also guys if you have any recommendations on any other accessories for the switch OLED or even any games be sure to put it in the comment section below definitely love to check it out uh, also if you want me to review any other uh, case or anything like that for the switch OLED let me know in the comment section below as well guys I appreciate you guys staying sticking with me over the last few months I know it's been a while uh, I'm gonna try to upload more videos uh, more consistently uh, now that I have a little bit more time to actually do this uh, guys I appreciate you as always for watching uh, thank you for commenting and subscribing to the channel uh, make sure you hit that bell icon in the corner so that we don't miss any of my future videos head over to Instagram and make sure you hit a follow on that on Instagram uh, sometimes I'll post pictures and stuff like that of what I pick up other than making a video uh, so that's much appreciated as well and uh, as always guys we'll see you next time